Hey everybody out there, today for you guys we are going to be doing a mail call video and it has been a very long time I feel like since I have done a major mail call video and I mean like more than five pieces of mail and uh, today we have a lot. We have uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, nueva. I forget after that. Something, something, something. <laughs> we have a lot of mail to open up. Uh, now, if you guys are not familiar with mail call that much with this channel, it has been some time since I've done it. These are me opening up uh, some mail packages that I order for stuff that I'm going to be building for the channel in the near future for fun. Uh, and I get to talk to you guys one on one, just you know, shoot the breeze and open up cards. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm hoping though that I get um, two cards that I have not gotten in the mail and they're overdue, kind of. It could have been late because of the holidays we recently had, but uh, we'll have to see if we get them or not. Uh, but first off, as you see here, we have a deck that I, I was debating about building and then I said, you know what, let's build it. Even though I have a little bit of disdain for the deck, I really want to build it for fun. And that is wind-up. So you, as you can see here, we have three secret wind-up rabbits. Uh, these are the secret rare rarities. Uh, back in the day, let me tell you, this was an amazing deck. And these were super, super expensive. <laughs> I mean, very expensive. Uh, I'm hoping one day they get carrier back. We did not get it off the recent ban list. But uh, I decided to build wind-ups just for fun. Uh, I, ha I used to play the deck years and years and years ago, but um, I decided to rebuild it just for fun. Uh, next we have Crimson Blader, uh, Crimson Blader Super Rare from the OTS pack. So for Black Friday a couple of weeks ago, I picked some cards up that I wanted to hollow out decks and things of that nature. And I picked up a Crimson Blader so I can use this, the Super Rare one, for Dragon Ruler format. Uh, Still Light. Unalock, uh, super rare from the OT Astral Pack 7. Uh, I need another one for them. I was missing one. I uh, also got a secret rare super polymerization from Legendary Collection. So I wanted that because super poly came off the list a while ago. But uh, I only have my commons and I really love the secret rare of super poly and I really wanted to get it. And uh, I was able to get it for Black Friday. There was one on sale. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know what this card is because it's like this. So let us see here what we get. Let me open this up here. Let's see here what we get. Still don't know what the card is. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. So this is a card that I just needed one more secret of. Now, as you guys know, the Legendary Collection GX got reprinted. And uh, I wanted to f now pick up all the different alternative secret rare artworks for all the different heroes. I have Sparkman, I have Burst Dinistrex, and now I have Avion, which are my three favorite of the vanilla, you know, heroes. So I have them, and I'm going to be using them in a deck for fun. Um, but that's the only reason I got them. So I, I wanted to pick some stuff up for Black Friday because the set got reprinted, so I wanted that. Oh. I know what this is, and this is definitely not a card. <laughs> that is something else. That is me. <laughs> I thought this was a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's just my new phone case I ordered. That's exactly what it is. Definitely not a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Not in the slightest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, I forgot I, I ordered that for Black Friday from Black Friday. Let's see here. Okay, so next up we have some more hollows of things I'm hollering out because I just love those decks and I wanted to hollow them out a little bit more. And so I got things cheap off TCG Player for Black Friday. So let me get this bad boy out because it's kind of stuck in there. I don't want to damage the card. There we go. Uh, we got three Gear Gear Accelerator. Uh, super rare. Never picked these up. And one... I just saw this randomly and I picked it up. It's just a Battle Pack 2, kind of like the DT foiling uh, for Zephyros, and I just wanted it. It was like, I need, this was not a dollar's worth, the Gear Gear Accelerators. They were like $1.75, so I picked this up for 25 more cents, and 
I was able to get everything, so that's cool. That's uh, that's neat, I guess. I love Gear Gear. I love that deck, but I want to we uh, we profile it. Just wanted to get you know holler it out a little bit before I do that. But yeah, I love the deck to pieces. It's such a fun deck to play. Uh, next we have wind ups. Yeah, we got wind up shark. Three of them, and these are from the Crimson. Uh, are these from the? Yeah, our Cosmo Blazer special edition ones. Uh, they sent me some Shirinuri stuff. I did get this because the windups weren't enough, so I just picked up some generic zombie stuff that just recently got foiled out. So yeah, for my different zombie decks, I can hollow them out a little bit. You know the deal. Um, getting kind of worried about where my, those other two cards were that never arrived for me. Alrighty, what do we got here? Oh yeah, so I got this because I love this old deck and I wanted to hollow out the last part of it. And that's two X-Saber Partial from Turbo Pack 7. Uh, these are just the super rares, but Partial you usually run as a one or two of in uh, X-Sabers. And I love the deck. Like I said, for the holiday season I wanted to hollow out some old decks of mine that I had. So I just picked up like hollow rarities to hollow, you know, rarity bump stuff I had of decks I already had. I've been wanting to do that for quite some time, and I did that for this holiday. So I got two X Saber partials um, and rarity bumped them, which was awesome. I'm very happy to get those hollows. I've been playing with the commons for years. Uh, next, we got some more wind up stuff. Yep, these are three wind up rats. Or, yeah, three wind up rats, super rare. As you guys know, very integral to your wind up combos. I'm so happy to play wind ups, they're so cute, yet so deadly. Ah, okay. So, I also got this too. Um, I just got a, I was gonna get an ultimate one, but I just decided not to, so I just got a super rare bubble man. That's all it is, just super rare bubble man. Nothing fancy. Just wanted a hollow bubble man so I could use it in my hero deck. Like I said, just try to hollow some things out. Like I didn't have, I, I don't actually have, I've only used the rare bubble man I got. I've had for years and like my common ones, I've never had a hollow bubble man ever. Like I wanted to hollow my decks out guys. Don't hate me. <laughs> um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I got this. I was so happy for this. So I got a super rare Gen I, uh, Gen X, Gen, uh, la 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 la. I think this is in French. It's a French Gen X Undyne. I needed one more hollow for my uh, Murmurals. And then I got like a German, I think it is, or Italian. Um, t not T Rex, oh gosh, Kaiju. And uh, we got that. And I just needed one more hollow because I only had two hollows of him, Doggeron, and I just needed one more. So I got one more. And that's going to go into the Relinquished deck. That's what I plan to do with that thing. Oh, this I picked up. So I sold these off years ago. And I mean like five years ago. Uh, and that is two Kagimusha Super Rare. And I just recently picked up two more. Now I know people do not run this in the current Buildistic Samurai. But the way I like playing it, Beast. this helps you go for Beast Barkeon with asceticism. And you do need it. So I like it as a two of in the deck still because Beast Barkeon is too dang good not to run in, in Six Samurai. I mean, yes, people are trying to build that big, unstoppable card, which you can still do, but you should at least run one to two Kagimusha because it, you know, it's such a damn good card. It, it helps you make Beast. It helps you go for Sheehan still. Uh, next up we have two, and this is banned, but I, I have a feeling that one day this will definitely come off the list uh, one way at all. And that is two wind up Zen uh, ultimate rare wind up Zen carriers. Um, I already have a third one, but I just wanted two more uh, just for that day that that does happen because I have a feeling when that day does come eventually, people are going to forget. You know, these are already like $5, but I think when it comes off the list, it'll probably be at like 10 to 15 uh, maybe 20 something with hype, but I want this for the deck because I have a feeling that the same thing happened with Sheehan. Like I had my one ultimate Sheehan and um, this is when Sheehan came off the list and then Sheehan went to two of and three of and the price just skyrocketed up and with the, when the new support came out, it skyrocketed it back up again. So 
you never know. Like that's why I try to like even if a card's you know limited or banned, just pick up some extra rarities just in case some stuff should happen. You never ever 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 know what's gonna happen. But yes, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to rarity bump some things and just make them look nice and pretty in my deck. But till next time, take care, have fun dueling. Good luck dueling to all of you, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Take care, everybody.